hundreds of parents and teachers and early childhood advocates are protesting against Mayor Bowser's proposed multi-million dollar budget cuts. They're worried because $300 million is on the chopping block for early childhood education. DC News Now's Leonard and Fleming has more. There is great concern, and there were many who rallied right here in this park in protest of the mayor's proposed budget cuts. And these early childhood education advocates, they're hoping to appeal the city council and the mayor to restore these budget cuts. It's devastating to the educator. Kathy hollowell Mako leads the D.C. Association for the Education of Young Children. She's worried about city officials eliminating the Early Childhood Educator Pay Equity Fund. Prior to the passing of the, the compensation, which is the pay parity fund, the average uh, child care teacher made about $31,000 in the District of Columbia, which is far below a livable wage in the district. D.C. Mayor Muriel Bowser on Wednesday says the fund which offers money to teachers and caregivers must be slashed to cut millions to balance the city's budget. Ironically, a D.C. early education conference was held in the district Friday, and the cuts loomed over the attendees, many say. We're really disappointed that the mayor made this choice. Rakaya Anbar Shaheen is the director for Early Childhood for D.C. Action, who opposes the cuts. She attended Friday's rally. I think that she talks a lot about shared sacrifice. We can be more thoughtful. We can do better in terms of setting our budgets and setting our priorities. For them to go backwards in that means that they're going to quit the field like what we saw pre-pandemic. Jamal Barry is the CEO of Educare DC, which is an early Head Start provider in DC. There's going to be higher call outs, there's going to be less interactions with children, and we also will not be able to recruit high quality teachers into the field, which was the whole point of pay equity in the first place. These early childhood education advocates are hoping to appeal to city council members who will be holding several budget hearings in the next several weeks. Reporting from Samuel Gompers Park, Leonard N. Fleming, DC News Now, back to you.